Like most people, celebs just want to blow off some steam after a hard day's work. However, when the average person has one too many highballs, it's probably not going to make national headlines. These are the stars who have become known to enjoy a drink and not be able to handle it. By the time Shia LaBeouf was arrested in 2017 for drunkenly threatening police officers in Atlanta, Fox News reported he already had a history of drunken run-ins with the cops, including a DUI, bar fights, and an arrest in 2014 during a performance of Cabaret. After that particular incident, LaBeouf started treatment for alcohol addiction, but one year later, he was arrested again for public intoxication in Texas. Um, I went through like an existential crisis. I had some hiccups, you know, uh, some judgment error. LaBeouf's 2017 arrest took an ugly turn after footage surfaced of the star yelling racial insults and threatening to kill an officer, according to TMZ. He eventually apologized on Twitter, writing, I am deeply ashamed of my behavior and make no excuses for it. Reese Witherspoon is such a classy Hollywood icon and versatile actress that it's easy to forgive, if not forget, what seems to be the sole ugly incident in her public life. In 2013, Atlanta police pulled over Jim Toth, who subsequently failed a sobriety test. Mrs. Toth, aka Reese Witherspoon, was sitting shotgun, and according to the incident report, she demanded of the cops, "'Do you know my name? You're about to find out who I am. You're about to be on national news.'" Toth was arrested on a DUI, and Witherspoon got booked for disorderly conduct. Witherspoon has profusely apologized for her behavior that night, saying in a statement, "'I clearly had one drink too many, and I am deeply embarrassed. I have nothing but respect for the police, and I'm very sorry for my behavior." Never drink to feel better. Only drink to feel even better. Baywatch star David Hasselhoff became an unfortunate YouTube sensation in 2007 after his 16-year-old daughter Haley filmed him drunkenly rolling around the floor of his Vegas hotel, trying to eat a cheeseburger. Having struggled with alcoholism, the actor had reportedly told his daughter to film him if he relapsed. Since then, the actor has remained sober. In 2010, he expressed gratitude to his daughter for the wake-up call, telling WENN, "...when I found out about the tape, I was overcome with an amazing sense of calm." God was basically saying, "...it's time to stop." Don't you worry, it's gonna be all right. When Christina Aguilera was arrested for public intoxication in 2011, fans were shocked. The dirty singer didn't have a reputation for partying, plus she had a three-year-old son at home. I really feel like, in a past life, I must have been a porn star. But in Aguilera's defense, she had just gone through a divorce, and apparently this new Christina was ready to live it up. According to Page Six, Aguilera attended Seth MacFarlane's annual Christmas bash in 2015, but she was allegedly too slosh to sing a duet with the Family Guy creator. Following an overdose in the late 90s, Charlie Sheen managed to put his bad boy persona on ice and became a respected TV actor and family man for a good chunk of the 2000s. But by late 2010, an infamous meltdown unfolded. I was calling it a meltdown, mm -hmm. but then I, I sort of changed my perspective and I'm calling it a, a, a melt forward. He was fired from Two and a Half Men and made the dubious claim that he cured himself of alcoholism with his mind. Then in 2014, a couple at a Taco Bell drive through got quite the surprise when Sheen stumbled up to their car and announced, I'm so f hammered before showing off his tattoos and offering relationship advice, according to TMZ. To Sheen's credit, he hasn't made headlines like this since revealing his HIV diagnosis on The Today Show. I'm here to, to admit that I am, in fact, uh, HIV positive. He's spoken candidly about his life with the disease in the years following those drunken incidents. Josh Brolin did not have a good 2013. He spent New Year's Day in jail for public intoxication, and by November of that year, he was in rehab after getting into fights with a bouncer and a cab driver all in one night. And it probably didn't help that he was finalizing his divorce from wife Diane Lane at the time. I think we got it. But after his stint in rehab, the actor was spotted looking, quote, hot and healthy, according to E! News, and so far, he stayed sober. He claims 2013 was a turning point, telling The Guardian, "...it made me think of a lot of things. I knew that I had to change." After Lindsay Lohan blew up her career with constant clubbing and two DUI arrests, Oprah tossed the troubled actress a life preserver in 2014 and set her up with a docuseries on OWN. That would chronicle Lohan's journey to sobriety and career comeback. You guys love the when I cry. <laughs> it's a really up disease and it's really scary. Needless to say, the show was a disaster that culminated when the actress allegedly got drunk at the viewing party, according to the Daily Mail. Winfrey pulled the plug on a second season. Over the years, Jennifer Lawrence has become famous for falling down at award shows. One of those moments was the 2014 Oscars. 
which Lawrence admitted to Seth Meyers was the result of having too many drinks at the Dolby Theater Lounge with her best friend. We ran into Brad Pitt, and she was like, get Brad Pitt over here. And I was like, I can't do that. She was like, yes, you can. She continued. And then so I just went, hey, Brad Pitt. <laughs> hey, Brad Pitt. And then he, like, came over. He smelled like sandalwood. In 2017, Lawrence's drinking went viral when Radar published video of the starlet working the pole at a strip club. The actress took the headlines in stride, but set the record straight on Facebook, writing, Look, nobody wants to be reminded that they tried to dance on a stripper pole by the internet. I'm not going to apologize. I had a blast that night.